happy graduation day. You guys, you made it, class of 2020. So today, we're gonna go over the top super extra. We're gonna make my special family's recipe for chocolate whipped cream roll. And some people call this chocolate roulade or bouche noel, they have it at Christmas. We just have it like all the time, like any time that we wanna celebrate something great. So we're, today we're gonna celebrate you, class of 2020. So the recipe is pretty simple. We're gonna do seven ounces of chocolate. And today I've got some uh, milk chocolate discs from my Imperfect Produce Box, as well as some bittersweet chocolate. We usually like to do like a semi-sweet or a mixture of bittersweet and semi-sweet, um, but I don't have that. So this is what we're gonna have today. So this is seven ounces, about a cup, and I'm gonna mix it with a quarter cup of coffee. Now, I didn't have coffee. I'm, I'm not a coffee drinker, uh, but I did have this um, instant espresso powder. So what I did was I mixed a little bit into this and then I'm gonna melt this. And while this is um, melting and then cooling, I'm going to separate my eggs. I'm gonna whisk my egg whites, put them aside, and then mix the yolks and the sugar. Let's watch. Now, um, after I got my egg whites to like, Ooh, look at that. Aren't those fun? Nice stiff peaks. So now I'm going to whisk my egg yolks and my sugar until they're super light and frothy. And then I'm going to add in my chocolate. So I've whip that egg yolk and sugar until it was nice and frothy and then I gradually added in that chocolate and it made such pretty designs. I should have taken a picture. And now I'm going to fold in my egg whites. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, I love it. So we're just going to gradually just plop some in. Ploppity plop. Do you hear it? Plop. And we just want to fold them in because we want to try to keep that egg white together. Just cutting it on the side, getting it around the top. I don't want to flatten the egg white altogether, but I need to incorporate it. Okay, a little bit more. Oop, plop. You don't want to lick this. This is not good. Chocolate and egg white and think no no don't like this so I'm just folding and folding and folding and folding now you have to make sure that you don't have just big chunks of white in there because if you have big chunks of white then it's gonna be like big chunks of like just white in your cake the fun thing about what we're going to do today, we are going to make two small ones. Normally I make uh, one big one, like in a regular cookie sheet. But look at these cute, I have these cute little tiny cookie sheets, right? They're tiny. They're like half sheet pans. Because when I put them together, that makes a whole sheet. So I'm going to do two little half sheets today. We are going to get the batter in here evenly distributed uh, about half ish about half ish uh, this one needs a little bit more oh my goodness you guys and then over here some more and then we're gonna bake it my oven has been preheating I'm gonna bake it for 20 minutes I'll set the timer for 15 just so I can check it first, about tw uh, 20 minutes at 350. Okay, I'm spreading it all the way out because I want to be able to roll this. Here's a large chunk of sugar. That would be gross. That's going that way. Did you hear that? I don't know what is going on, except it's quarantine and nothing really makes sense in the world anymore. <sighs> 
but that's a discussion for another day. Right now, we need to make this cake for you guys. So I'm just spreading it out. I'm gonna put it in the oven, right? I'm gonna again, set the timer for 15, just so I can check it first. Okay. Yay. So they cooked for um, about 17 minutes. And remember, in a, in a normal world, I make this in one big tray, but I made two small trays. And when I make it in one big tray, I would roll it this way on the long edge. So we're gonna still keep rolling that. But what we have here is I made our whipped cream, right? We know how to do that. Made sure it didn't go past and go into butter stage. So I'm just gonna get it in here and I'm gonna smooth it out. It's gonna be amazing. And then I'm gonna roll it. And the rolling part is the, the most tedious part. And you go, oh, is it gonna, is it gonna crack? You know what, you guys? It's okay if it cracks and it's okay if it's not perfect because it's still gonna be so delicious. It's all about the journey. So let's do it. So we have our two rolls here. I've got some chocolate on my fingers. And if we look at them from the side, do you see that? So cute. And I love it because it's two small ones. Because we can keep one and we can give one away. Um, but So we want to keep them um, wrapped in their parchment paper. And we're just going to store them in the fridge until we're ready to go. I would, I would roll them and give them at least an hour until we're ready to slice it. Okay. So they're nice and chilled now. And I can unwrap it. So what I'm also going to be, oh, oh, look at all that. I'll just have to eat that part. It will be fine. What I'm looking for here, um, usually the first cut is not very good. That's okay. But I'm gonna take this, just cut that. Oh, you guys. I'm so excited to share this with you today. The world is upside down, but you know what? We're gonna figure it out because we've got some good little cake here. So, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure it's not poisonous. Mmm, oh God. That is delightful. Here's to you, class of 2020. Thanks for coming. See you next time. Cooking with